Hey guys, welcome to Avery's 12 month update. Super sorry I'm getting this to you guys kinda late. It's just been a busy couple weeks, but Avery is refusing her morning nap, so I figure now is a good time to do her update. Both boys are at school, so it's shockingly quiet at the house. So we'll see how Avery does for this video. Usually she doesn't last very long. But yes, Avery is now a year old. I cannot believe the first year went by super, super fast. We did go to the pediatrician a couple days after she turned one. So I do have her updated stats. I'll tell them to you guys. She is 30 and a half inches tall, putting her in the 90th percentile. You guys, she is so tall. She's honestly growing out of all her 12 month clothes. We're going to have to switch her over to 18 month clothes soon. She has always been very tall her whole life and it's just continuing. For her weight, she is 22 pounds, which puts her in the 80th percentile for weight. So that is really good too. Usually her weight has been more closer to like 50th percentile. So her weight has gone up. And then her head circumference is 44.5 centimeters, putting her in the 37th percentile for her head, which she has always had a tinier head. So that is basically on track right there. I'm going to pull up my one year post about Avery so I can kind of remember exactly what I said about her. Okay, so Avery's favorite thing to eat right now is whipped cream. Uh, usually we buy it out of the canister and my boys love it, Anthony loves it. I'm not a huge whipped cream fan, it's kind of a texture thing for me, but Anthony gave it to Avery the other day and she loves it. He will put like the nozzle close to her mouth and she will actually open her mouth like she wants whipped cream which is pretty impressive because if you know Avery she just doesn't really like solids that much um, we're still trying to get her to eat solids um, it's a battle some days are better than others we do lots of purees and she does pretty well with that um, but when it comes to solids she's not still not picking food up and putting it in her mouth but um, if I pick up food and put it in her mouth, she will eat it um, a couple bites and then she just ends up like pushing it out with her tongue. But she will eat pancakes and scrambled eggs and like anything soft. So any fruits, as long as I um, make them really tiny. Um, I actually just gave her some of the boys chicken nugget um, last night and she was eating that. So um, she is definitely doing better, but we're trying to stay away from her food so she doesn't gag. We actually haven't had a gagging incident in a, a while. She hasn't puked from that in a while, so maybe we're on the right track. One of the biggest questions I have for the pediatrician was whether we would be able to take Avery off of formula or not. Usually once a child turns one, you take them off of formula and you put them on some kind of milk. I do whole milk for my kids. Um, but with Avery and her like not really eating, but e she is eating just like not eating herself. I just wasn't sure what the pediatrician was going to say, but thankfully he did say that she's a great weight. She is eating like purees and some solids. So he felt good about taking her off of formula. So I was very happy about that because formula is very expensive. We were spending about 40 bucks a can a week on formula. So whole milk is like, I don't know, $2 a gallon. So that's much better for um, my pocketbook. So yes, we have switched Avery over. She is on whole milk now. And now I just need to switch her from bottle to like sippy cup, which I always have a hard time doing that with my kids, so it'll be a process, but we're gonna work on it. Avery has been super happy. She loves to give hugs and smiles. Lately, she has been wanting to hug me and she would just lean into me and hug me and uh, won't let go. And I think it's just like the sweetest thing. Also, this has happened like well into her 12 month <laughs> of life, but she has started to give kisses and it is the sweetest thing. It's the typical like open mouth kisses that kids do when they're first figuring it all out and she's given it to me and Anthony and uh, my mom which is her grams and my dad her gramps she gives them kisses too so it's so sweet and I swear she knows if we say hey Avery Avery give kisses give kisses 
You give kisses? Give kisses! Give kisses! Give kisses! Give kisses! Ah! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for the kisses! So yeah, she is doing that, which is like the sweetest thing. It just melts me. She loves giving kisses. She's giving me more kisses now. Thank you! <laughs> She's so cute! <laughs> so yeah, she's been a lot more happy and smiley, but also a little more sassy. She's got a cold. She's had this for a bit. She got it from her brothers, I'm sure. Um, so that's been making her kind of cranky. And then um, I think she is teething because she is finally starting to get some bottom teeth. They have not come yet, but um, even the pediatrician said, like, they're right there. Like, the gum is raised. Like, we can kind of feel the teeth, but, like, they haven't poked through yet. So it's the two middle bottom teeth that looks like she's going to get them at the same time. So very excited for her teeth to start coming just so she can start, like, actually chewing food <laughs> instead of just her gums. Oh, thank you for the kisses. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very exciting about the teeth, but when, as of 12 months, she still has not had any teeth which is so crazy to me because both my teeth both my boys had several teeth by the time they turned one but Avery is just unique <laughs> thank you for the kisses I love that but like I said yeah she does get sassy um she is not always okay with me just putting her down and with a bunch of toys and walking away to go do something she wants me to hold her to carry her to pay attention to her so she is getting a little more of an opinion there avery is always saying da 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 or ma 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 or she does love to say na 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 she does that as well not really saying any words although she will like look at me and say mama like very distinct or da da. So do those count as words? I'm not really sure. Yeah, she is starting to say that, but nothing else, like no other words. She just more like understands things that we tell her. Like I said, like the give kisses or high five or where's this person's name. Like she understands that. She's just not necessarily speaking, but I told the pediatrician this and he said that's completely normal. By 12 months, they just want to see kids babbling and like trying to talk, so. She has hit the correct development on that, so that is good. Obviously, as you guys can see, Avery has graduated her helmet. I actually think I talked about this in her 11 month update, even though it happened between 11 and 12 months. But Avery is done with her helmet. She graduated, she took six months of wearing a helmet and graduated two days shy of six months. Started back in September and then finished in March. So we are very happy. We've been putting all the bows and headbands on her. Um, she seems to do really well not wearing the helmet. So we're very glad that that phase in her life is over. Um, her head looks great. And we're hoping now that the helmet's off, she will be able to hopefully catch up on her development. As you all know, Avery is delayed in her development. We aren't quite sure why, if it's the helmet or something genetically with her, but she is not crawling. She is sitting. I would say her sitting is basically there. She does not transition to and from sitting, but she is sitting. Like if I put her down, she will sit. Crawling, she's not crawling. Walking, obviously not walking. She will stand if she's holding on to a surface, she will stand by herself, unassisted. I mean, not for very long, but she will. So she has the muscle strength. She just hasn't figured out quite how to, how to use it yet. As you all know, um, we have Avery in physical therapy. So they come every other week and work with Avery. Right now we are working on transitions from um, being on the belly to up to sitting. She actually does really well with that. If we initiate it, we're just trying to get her to initiate it on her own. But yeah, we are working on it and then hopefully uh, eventually she will be crawling and walking and will be caught up. Avery still absolutely loves to bounce. We don't really put her in her bouncer as much anymore because we're trying to get her to um, work on her development physically. But we did get this peanut ball that the physical therapist recommended and it's just like a big ball that's in the shape of a peanut and Avery loves it. I would say that's her favorite thing ever. 
Um, she loves to bounce on it. She loves to roll on it. The only problem with it is once you start playing with the peanut ball, Avery doesn't want to stop playing with it. And she has a tantrum, a full on tantrum once you stop playing with it. So I do it very sparingly when I know I have a lot of time to dedicate to it. Also, Avery loves crinkle toys. Anything that crinkles, honestly, over all her toys. Playing with the wipes container is her favorite because it crinkles and she loves it. So it's super fun. Um, but other than that, yeah, she loves anything that crinkles. We recently got out these like stacking cups that I've had ever since my first six years ago. And she loves um, holding those or knocking them over if I build them up in a tower. So um, she does love those toys as well. Avery loves being outside. She loves going on walks in the Hi. stroller. We've been starting to go on more and more walks as it's been warm here and there. And on the warm days um, when we take the kids out, we put Avery in the stroller and she loves it. She doesn't complain. She just absolutely loves it. And then when we go to the park, we put her in the swing because um, the physical therapist said that um, swinging is really good because it helps babies work on their core muscle and she loves to swing, loves it. She gets a big smile on her face and doesn't want to get out. So that has been a fun thing to do with Avery. Another favorite activity that Avery loves to do is bath time. Um, when I put her on the floor in front of the bath, she knows that it's bath time. She gets so excited. She loves splashing in the water. She loves playing with all the bath toys that we have. Sometimes one brother will get in with her and she loves watching them play in the bath. She loves watching her brothers play. They are crazy but entertaining to her and so she loves it. So like I said in this video, Avery's naps are all over the place. Um, for a while I thought she was dropping the morning nap and then she was consistently taking two naps a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um, but her naps have always been very short, like half hour to an hour. Um, even the afternoon nap hasn't been that great. But yesterday she took like a three hour afternoon nap, which was like so unlike her. And then now today she's refusing her morning nap, but maybe she's just now getting tired because she seems to be fussy. So I don't know with Avery, um, every day I'm not quite sure how it's gonna go. The only thing that is consistent is bedtime. She is always tired, like right at seven o'clock, if not earlier, and she does not fight us going down. She will sleep and she sleeps all night. And it's glorious, it's so, so great. I can't remember the last time that I had to wake up in the middle of the night, knock on wood. <laughs> Hopefully it stays like that. Um, for a while, for, a good month maybe Avery was waking up at like 6 a.m. just ready for the day and just in the past week or so she has started to sleep in until like 7 7 15 it's been so much nicer so hopefully that is here to stay I think I've talked about this in other um, updates but Avery's absolute favorite song is if you're happy and you know it every time she's grumpy if I start singing it to her she asks she stops crying she stops whining and she just focuses and you can tell she really wants to clap her hands but she has not quite figured that out yet but she loves if you're happy and you know clap your hands clap, clap. She loves, loves if you're happy and you know it. it's so cute. Also, we'll play a music on our Alexa in the kitchen and the boys will be dancing around and if Avery's like in her little high chair, she will start dancing to the music. Sorry about that, Avery was just, as you saw, getting more and more agitated, so I just went and put her down for a nap. I'll give her 10 minutes and see if she'll fall asleep or not. Usually she'll just like, if she's not sleeping, she'll just like lay in her bed and just stare at the camera, so I'll check on her in a couple minutes, but like I was saying, she loves, she'll do like a little shimmy shake in her high chair when the music comes on and she absolutely loves her tongue. She loves to stick out her tongue. It's the cutest thing. She makes the cutest little smiles, but yeah, definitely into the tongue. She also loves grabbing her feet. She loves chewing on her fingers because of the teething and her hair is just getting so much longer. Every time I look at her, I swear her hair has grown longer 
So super fun. We tried putting it into a ponytail the other day and it was like the tiniest little ponytail so I need her hair to grow a little bit longer on the top. It mostly just grows like in the back. But that is about it uh, for Avery. Sorry I don't have her to close out this vlog but I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching from month one all the way up to 12 months. I still cannot believe I have a daughter. I still cannot believe I have a 12 month old. This year just flew by it's been fun and crazy and difficult and all the emotions in one and i can't wait to see where this next year takes us usually like 18 months to two years old is like my favorite age it's so fun like they're it seems like they learn something new every day and they talk a lot more and just all the fun things and then once they get to be two it's like uh something switches and they become that terrible two-year-old and they get opinions and sassy so i had that with both my boys we'll see if avery is the same she's a pretty chill baby for the most part so maybe I shall be a chill two-year-old, we'll see. Um, maybe I will do an update when Avery is 18 months old, so in about six months, but obviously you'll see her on my daily vlogs, um, and I'll keep you guys updated on, you know, all her developments and genetics and all that fun things. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it for the last time. Thank you for watching Avery's monthly updates and I will not miss doing these because they always hang over my head and Avery never is, is happy for them. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!